So um, this Java code implements a simple class scheduling system with the needs to or with the ability to add, delete, and view scheduled classes. So the main class is called the class scheduling. So and it has four methods. What are the four methods? This is the add class. This method takes in three parameters, the subject, time, and day of the class and creates a string representing the class with this information. So this one. Then the class is then added to the array list called classes. So this is the array list. Then and a message printing indicated that the class has been added to the schedule so this is the print line notification that the class is added to the schedule this is the delete class so the delete class method takes in the name of a class as a parameter and checks if it exists in the classes of the array list if it does the method removes the class and prints a message um, that the class has been removed from the schedule otherwise if it does not exist a message is printed indicating that a class was not found in the system next method is the print schedule so this method simply prints out all the classes in the classes are released if there are no classes a message is printed indicating that the schedule is empty this one next is the print schedule table so the print schedule table method prints out a table of all the scheduled classes with an ID number, with an ID number for this one, subject, time, and day, then the status. If there are no classes, a message is printed indicating that the schedule is empty. This one. If there is no uh, current schedule. Next is the main method. So in this main method, we set up an instance of the class scheduling here and creates a scanner for object for a user to input and runs a loop so we use the while loop to continuously ask the user what they would like to do so the user would choose and add a class to the schedule delete a class from the schedule prevent the schedule print the schedule in the table format then the last is number five is exit so the user can choose to add a class, delete a class, print the schedule, print the schedule in table format, or exit the program. Depending on the user choice, the appropriate method in the class scheduling class is called. If the user enters an invalid choice, an error message is printed. This one, the default value. This will be the output if it the case. Oh, so we do the switch case. So if the user input six, so the default value will be outputted which is the invalid choice please enter a number between 1 to 5 so maybe that's all so we need to we'll try to run this code so we need to try run and try so run file so first we need to add the class schedule so we will select the one then for example I need science then time is 11 0 0 a.m then choose day then so say so it is printed that science at 11 a.m on tuesday has been added to the schedule so what if we choose to print the schedule so it says that science at 11 a.m on tuesday so it display the schedule and we, we need to put it again in a schedule format so we need to click for then you see that it is printed in the table format then next is we will try to delete so we need to delete so once we delete we, may, we will be use the class name so for example this is the class name okay and once we run this one so the class has been removed from the schedule lastly we print the um well, lastly we exit so we need to put five so the program is terminated so that's all for the class scheduling system made in java